Just over 15 minutes outside of Las Cruces on the east side of the Oregon Mountains off I-70 is Aguirre Spring, a campground where we will hook up with the trailhead for Indian Hollow on a guided hike with mountaineer Ronald Lautenbach. Okay, we're going into Indian Hollow. Indian Hollow is one of these uh, canyons that uh, most people don't even know exist. You need, first of all, to have a buddy. If for any reason you have any symptoms of being tired or sick, we want to know right away. After Ron's brief safety overview and guidelines for the hike, we're ready to head out. Among this group of hikers is a range of experience and skill levels. We've got some first-time hikers, and then those like Ron, who have scaled some of the highest and most challenging peaks on the Earth's surface. I would put myself in the intermediate category, but one thing's for certain, we're all in good hands. Given the fact Ron has taken on Mount Everest and Denali, among others, he's capable and competent in leading the charge and many of these folks have accompanied him on other hikes in these mountains. As a first timer to the Oregon mountains though, I was impressed by the views and how different these mountains are from the Sandias in my own backyard. Beyond the vistas though, the land underfoot is rugged and the vegetation is considered to be the most botanically diverse of any mountain range in our state. While I'd be willing to bet it's the most prickly as well. Lots of thorns in this brush. If you look over here to your right here, Sugarloaf here is the granite monolith. Now Sugarloaf here is a uh, climber's dream. It's written up in the 50 classic climbs of the United States. But right down here we're going to go into the valley and that's where the start of Indian Hollow is. Ready to go? Here we go. We've already put in some serious steps on the pedometer and we still haven't made it to the leg of the hike leading us through the hollow. I have a feeling it won't be long before the rolling ups and downs of the hike start working us into a straight upward climb. Yep, here we go. This is when the cardio starts to kick in and we recognize the magnitude of this mountain. Things are definitely starting to look steep, but we're also getting our first glimpse of water seeping from the rocks. You don't find water out here very often. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> And after a bit of scrambling, we work our way to the top. Look back, guys. See where you came from. All right. OK, right here. We have summited the mountaintop. Now that's what I call a feeling of accomplishment. <laughs> so, you know, as someone who has climbed a lot of different mountains, what makes the Oregon Mountains so unique? These are rugged mountains, even though they're only 9,000 feet. But if your mindset is such that you want to get there, we'll get you there. Mm. And it's, I think it's Lon probably said uh, the best quote of all. He said, take a group of ordinary people and have them do extraordinary things. Mm. To me, this is one of the most beautiful spots in the world. I'm with Ron on that one. And there's no better way to appreciate the majesty of a peak than reaching its summit through sweat and strength. And no better people to have as your compadres than this group right here. This will be a hike to remember. After the workout I had going up Indian Hollow, my next day, I decided to go for an easier hike in Dripping Springs, on the western side of the Oregon's and only 10 miles outside of town. These trails lead you to the ruins of the old Dripping Springs Resort, formerly known as Van Patten's Mountain Camp. A popular mountain getaway at the turn of the century, the resort hosted the likes of Pat Garrett and Pon Jovia, but were ultimately sold off to a physician from San Francisco who converted the springs to a sanatorium. The ruins are picturesque, and exploring them is ample reward for your journey up the canyon. But if you have it in you, hike the extra quarter mile beyond the ruins to the lookout point above so you can appreciate how far you've come. And with any of these hikes, take note of the warning signs at the trailhead. These mountains are no joke. Be smart.